Hi, in this demo I'm going to show how to edit a UDID of a 3 power volume which is presented on an OpenVMS host. You can see that I'm logged in into a 8.4 system and this uh, system is already configured with some of the 3 power devices. The the volume that I'm going to take to edit the UDID is basically DGA 100, a DGA 1000. 1000 is the UDID which I'm going to change it to some other number. So it's already online and uh, it's already mounted as well. So I'm going to show you a file which is already part of that particular device. So you can see a file which is created on that uh, DGA 1000 and uh, the file content is called as graphic is great it's just a simple text file so a couple of steps you have to do before you want to edit the device you want to make sure that uh, all the applications are not impacted on this device for that you need to stop all the applications which are connected to this device and then dismount this device so once you dismount this device you are all set from the OpenVMS host now you log in into a 3 power device I have already logged into a 3 power uh, uh, storage system so the device under consideration is called as uh, test vv2 and you can see that the UDIT for that device is basically 1000 so one of the things I can do over here is I can just go ahead and uh, just do the set volume this set you did is the command that I'm going to use so instead of thousand I'm going to give thousand two but you can notice over here is that it it says that you cannot modify you did for a exported volume so all we have to do is that we need to unexport this volume so there is a command which is basically used for unexporting this volume it's it's called remove v learn so once you do a remove VLAN on this particular host automatically it will get un, you know the device has got now unexported so now I can go ahead and just do the uh, the set you did so I'm going to do the set you did part so you can see over here that, that I am able to set the you did of this device the test VV2 2002 so now if I do show VV minus D with the test vv2 I can see that my UDID has been changed now after I do this I got to make sure that I re-export it back so I will use a command to do the re-export so this is where the open VMS host can now see that same device that was you know unexported to change the watch change the UDID so now I'll go back to open VMS host one of the things you need to do over here is uh, you need to make sure the device is now uh, the, the the new device that is coming into picture needs to be reconfigured so since we actually disconnected the old device we got to make sure from sysman we run a, a command called SCSI path verify since there was a change in the device uh, configuration this MC sysman IO SCSI path verify will make sure that all the devices which were previously connected with the the previous name those all things will be taken offline you can see over here this is the device that was connected previously and that has been taken offline from the open VMS perspective but since the same device was created with the new name all we have to do is that now reconfigure the device there's another command to do that same thing so all you have to do is that auto configure with the log slash parameter and uh, I can you can see over here that the DGA 1002 has been discovered by the auto configure and it's been configured through four paths so if I go back and just do a mount of this device since it's uh, since it's already having a data we know that you know we, we didn't change anything or we didn't we didn't uh, we didn't uh, delete any of the data I'm just going to do a mount so once I do the mount of the device I can now just go ahead and see if my device is the file that I had created in the beginning if you remember under the directory called RAF if that file exists you can see so, that the file exists I'm going to just do a type of that device type of that file
and you can see that the content is intact this concludes my uh, demo